doing? Yes, Wendy. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> Thank you for inviting. I'm happy that to have you here. How are you doing? I'm doing well. We yeah. just landed a little while ago. My feet actually fit into my shoes. You know how you swell when yes. you fly. Did you really just land a few hours ago? Like two. Wow. Yeah. Well, thanks for doing that. Yeah, that's. I'm not a good flyer either. Do you like to fly in I general? I do. Oh, you do? Well, it's the one place where the phone's not ringing and where you can actually get something done, like sleep. Uh-huh. <laughs> you can sleep on a plane? Yeah. I can't do that. I don't go to, I don't like to go to the bathroom on the plane. Wow. So I don't drink anything until like an hour before until like an hour before we land. That way, I don't have to go in there. I wouldn't room. even make it if I waited an hour before we land. You, you flew here from New York <laughs> yes. and you didn't go to the bathroom the entire flight? No. That's a long time. I, well, isn't it? Is it a long time for most people? I do my I do my kegels though. Uh -huh. Well, okay. I mean, you know, all that stuff helps. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's okay. Um, so. <laughs> Let's talk about, so you're, have you always been this outspoken? Have you always said exactly what's on your mind? Yeah. Since what age? Since forever. I mean, I was an early talker, and I have bruises on my shins from being kicked in them so many times under the table by my parents. Mm -hmm. uh, TM, TL, TF was always how they described my talk. Too much, too fast, too loud. And the too much is, you know, I guess the loose cannon of the mouth. Right. But life is short. In our house, we didn't have TV in the kitchen and everything. You know, I grew up in the 70s. Mm -hmm. So we'd have to come to the dinner table every night with our A game. I've got two other siblings and my mother and father, and everybody's a talker. Mm -hmm. So you gotta get in there with your right. thoughts. So, and it's paying <laughs> off, obviously, because this is doing very well for you, but do you get in trouble? Like, have you run into people that you've said bad things about? No, I hide out in Jersey. When the, show's, <laughs> when, the, when the show is over, I go home. No, and I don't say bad things. I mean, if you're speaking of like hot topics, mm -hmm. well, that's the stuff that you read about everywhere you go. Right. I just break it down. Uh-huh. <laughs> like for instance, what would, you, what would you break down today? What are you talking about today? On the show? Yeah. Well, I forgot. We taped it yesterday right, before, so <laughs> before I got here. I understand. What I understand. are we talking? Well, I can tell you like this. Like, what's on your mind right now? Okay. I can tell you this. Our show is extended. Normally, we go on hiatus. You know how shows go on hiatus, yes. at, like in May. Yes. But when we got back in September to start season four of our show, I said, I am not taking three months off. There's too much going on. Then I found out Kim Kardashian was pregnant. <laughs> and she's due in July. Well, in July, normally you're on a beach somewhere with a Mai Tai because you're on break, but not us. We're going, we're working all the way through July because that is what people are going to be talking about. Of course, yeah. they're already talking about yeah. it. Yeah. And what are your thoughts on Kim and Kanye? Um, I mean, I'm happy for her. She wanted a baby. Um, um, <laughs> it's so funny how, no, because I'm a guest in your house and I feel like I want to say it, but I can't talk how I really talk. But I've been saying, please don't laugh and encourage me, but I've been saying she's going to be a single mom and, and he is going to be a lot to deal with, with her. You think so? Yeah. Have you ever met either of them? Yes. Both? Yes, not together. Yes, separately though. Well, yeah, he's been spending most of his time in Europe since she's been pregnant. Right. Well, he's, he's touring, right? Oh. Look, I don't know. The baby's due. The, the, the baby is due in July, and yeah. I and I can't wait. Yeah. All right. Well, but she she's very excited. She's having a baby, and that's yeah. that's really great, right? That is great. And she had to. She knows Kanye. She, they've known each other for a long time. She had to know who he is. Right. Well, I don't. I don't know. I don't think. I don't think that you find out the fiber of who somebody is until you're actually living under one roof and true. and sharing. That's true. You know, space. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, I do know. You've been married for uh, 15, years. 15 years. So your marriage is working out. Yes. And you have a son. We, uh, my husband and I have been together for 19 years, married for 15, and we have a 12-year-old son, who's my little gift from God. Yeah. And how, how is he? Oh, he's not that little anymore. He's taller than me. He's 12 years old. He's five feet eight and weighs 200 pounds. And that sounds like a lot, but we, we're big boned in our family. Wow, five eight. Yeah. Wow, and he's 12? 12. That's, that's amazing. Yeah. So, and, and how is he with, with his mother being so outspoken? Is he proud of you or do you embarrass him sometimes? Because most kids with a mom that just says what she, whatever she feels would be embarrassed. No, you know, he is, believe it or not, really, um, cool with who I am. For instance, he loves my long wigs. He, I wear wigs. I have thyroid disease, and so my hair is thinned. I don't wear them just for a joke. I, I wear wigs. I was not judging but, you. I don't I know. have any. No, because no. Yeah. The, here's the 
thing. Some people, some people think that when you wear wigs, it's because you know you just want to wear wigs. By the way, Dave's wig, mm -hmm. fabulous. Is that good? You want that? Uh, listen, all he's got to do is take some of the shine out of it. It looked too shiny. If you put some sea salt on your wig. And okay. a little root realness, like a little darkness at the roots. I'll tell him, because he's been Done. wearing that wig for too long. <laughs> um, no, but, but our son, um, he's, he's fought, he likes longer wigs, so he'll tell me, you know, even if it hurts my feelings. Um, and he's also very proud that I pose for PETA. I'd rather go naked than wear. And you would think of <laughs> PETA than wear fur. Good for you. But, um, but I, I still eat the pork. Yeah. I know you're totally vegan. Yeah, but that's all right. How I do mean, you live without bacon? Well, because I, I think pigs are smart animals. They're, They're very smart too. animals. So. Um, but no, he encouraged that. He thought it was yeah. good, and he's good. not offended at all by like the boys in his grade who might say, "Oh, you know, I saw your mom." Yeah. It's like thanks. I think that's really that's really cool. He said, "So you have? I heard you had. I have a gift for you. I heard you have." One uh, thing that you're you're hoping to to learn, something that you haven't learned yet. Well, this summer, mm -hmm. this summer I'm doing a run on Broadway in Chicago, and there's going we're, we're having like a staycation on account of I'm going to be busy. I heard you talking about them earlier, right. and what I want to learn to do to keep myself calm and zen is knit. Ellen, I have always wanted to know how to knit. And I don't know whether I'm gonna learn through the internet or have a knitting teacher, but when I get back from LA, you know, after seeing you, I'm gonna start. And by winter, I'm gonna have myself knitted a, the longest pair of sweater leggings ever. <laughs> long, because my legs are 40 yeah, inches. I know, that's gonna take you some time. Yeah. You have long legs. All right. Wait, I bought you a gift too. Oh, okay, well then you give me mine okay. first and then I'll give you. Okay, here. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow, I didn't, you don't have to bring me a gift when you come here. Yes. Wow. Do you like These them? are amazing. Yes, those are amazing. Thank you. Wow. Thanks, Ellen. You know, and they're blue. Well, um, on, they match your beautiful eyes. Thank you. You know, on our talk show, um, on my talk show, we have a shoe camera in the coffee table. Right. And so, you know, we're all about like the shoes and the fashion and things like that. And so I bought you some shoes too. Well, that's really sweet. I brought you something too. Here you it did? comes. Yeah. Let me show you what I got you. Okay. You gotta put sea salt in that hair. Yay! Oh! Thanks, Ellen. Everything you need. Thank you. Everything you need. All right, we'll take a break. We'll come back and uh, go to the audience for questions for Wendy. So Wendy's book is Ask Wendy, so we have some people in the audience who have some questions for you. Heather Schmitz, where is Heather Schmitz? Come on over here. Hi, Heather. Come on over here. Hi, Heather. How are you? Oh, oh okay, hi. Hi. Hi, Wendy. Hi. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> All right, Heather, you have a question. Go ahead. Yes. Okay, Wendy. So I've been with my man for six years. Okay. How do I get him to put a ring on it? <laughs> well, what I found, Ellen, and also Heather, when you give advice, you have to find out the age of the person because what I say to a 27-year-old would be different than what I say to a 57-year-old. So how old? Just turned 30. Just turned 30. How old is he? 34. Yeah. I think. Do you have kids together? <laughs> no. Do, you don't have kids together? No. Well, have you, has he ever mentioned that he would like to get married? Um, not really. I think he's, <laughs> I think he's scared. Okay, well, it's time to start the conversation. Okay. Have you, have you brought it up at all? Yeah. Yeah, but if you bring it up the way you just brought it up to me and Ellen, he's not gonna take you serious, right? You put a <laughs> ring on it! Yeah. You know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. Ellen, exactly. You, you gotta look in yeah. his eyes and, and, you know, and talk to him about the future and hopes and dreams and have a real plan mapped out okay. as to, you know, this whole marriage thing. And don't expect him to marry you tomorrow, but he'll be moving in that direction. Okay. Thank you. You're Good very luck. welcome. Good luck. Layla Jamma, where's Layla? Hi, Layla, come on up. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> Layla Jamma. Layla Jamma, what you got? I have a question. There's a few guys that I work with at work that ask me out on dates and I'm really friendly and I'm not really interested. So I see them often. So how do I let them know like I'm not interested in them in that way? <laughs> this is what you do. You tell them that you don't want to poop. Where you, where you do your business. <laughs> and that, and that, that, way, that way, Ellen, if she's not gonna come off as mean no. to them. That's all she has to say, they'll go away right away. Yeah, <laughs> but, but you know, but so that way you won't come off as being mean to them. You'll be letting them off gently as if, well, they would have a chance if you didn't work together. But since you work together, no. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Thank just, you. Just say the word poop and they'll go. Oh, all right, yeah. Paula Sabri. Oh. 
Don't jump too hard. Oh. I give you a hug. Oh, come on. How are you doing? I've lived in New York for five years. I've listened to you on your radio show. Hi, Hal. Thank you. Of course. Oh, Hi. Aw. I'm going to cry. Hi. Um, Hi. Okay, so obviously I'm pregnant. I'm yeah. eight and a half months pregnant. Uh-oh. And um, I... <laughs> Um, I'm not pushing yet. Um, I have been married for five and a half years, uh -huh. and I've had him all to myself. And now that it's getting close, I'm really excited yeah. that we're going to have a baby. But mm -hmm. I'm scared of how it's going to change the dynamic of our marriage. And it just freaks me out. So what advice do you have? You're already on a good start because you are aware that you love your husband so much and that your relationship with your husband is as important as the relationship with this baby that's coming. And they're two separate things. Stay sexy. You know, <laughs> you know, keep your conversation about the children or about your, your baby, of course, in the picture, but talk about other things besides the baby too. Because guys, unfortunately, tend to feel like you're only in mommy mode once you have the baby. And the important thing to remind him, um, verbally and non-verbally, is that you are a sexy, smart woman with a lot to give to him and the world, other than just birthing babies. And the mother stitch helps out. Ask your doctor about that. That one extra stitch that just keeps everything together. I am a doctor. Oh, there you go. I'll well, right. make sure to take care of that. Part. All right, doctor, you know what to do. Thank you so much. That was fun, Ellie. Yeah, thank you. That was great. All right. Fantastic. It is called Ask Wendy. Everybody in the audience is going home. With because I don't like a double kiss either. You looked like you were going in for the double kiss and I didn't want to leave you hanging, so I went back in for the double kiss. Okay, sorry. What, do, do you normally do a double no, kiss? No, uh, I'm not from Europe, I'm from no. Jersey. Yeah, no. <laughs> but anyway, well, that's good. So, so we've kissed uh, twice and it's fine. Sorry. No, no, don't be sorry. You look fantastic. Thank you. How much have you lost? I, um, I lost 50 pounds, took two years. And the right way. Yes, the right way. Yeah. Um, which was portion control, you know, keeping my workout going, but nothing really too strenuous. You know, when I was 48, I wanted to go into 50 feeling like the best time of my life. And so I'll be 52 this summer. And I've kept it off. And yeah. Yeah. That's the key. Yeah. I mean, lots of people lose weight, but especially when you lose it fast, you just gain it fast. Yeah. You gain it right back. And diet pills make your heart race and all those shakes and stuff. I don't believe in any of that. And believe me, you. I grew up a fat kid, so I've been on every diet. Yeah. All I know is, is that I don't eat meat mm -hmm. and I don't eat the GMOs and you know that type of thing. And yeah. I've managed to keep the weight off. That's not how I lost the weight, yeah. but I feel better about myself. Yeah. I think it's never too late to quit uh, doing something bad for you. And yeah. Start doing something good for you. Yeah. And then we got a dog. Yeah. He's an Italian Mastiff, and his oh, name that's, is Shaquille. That's big. Yeah. Well, Shaquille, there he is. <laughs> but you all, he's only nine months old. And he already weighs about 80 or 90 pounds, and he's gonna be 200 pounds. But we're big people in our family. Yeah. So what are we gonna do with a small dog? He is a good looking dog. Yeah. He's that, gray with blue eyes. The, yeah, a beautiful dog. Yeah, thank you. Beautiful dog. All right, let's talk about uh, the show. You got renewed for three more years. Congratulations. Thank for, you. Uh, you. I'm grateful. Yeah. I mean, you're an OG in this game. You know what it is. Yeah, it's you know, it's really amazing. I mean, as we know, talk shows come and go. To be able to stay on the air, it's a, it's a big deal. Yeah. Well, um, um, in 2020, we will be 11 years old. Yeah. And just. And there's no rhyme or reason to to say that a show is going to last just because you get one season. So mm -hmm. I'm very grateful. Yeah. So, so have you? What have you learned? Uh, and are you changing anything? Or like every year, we try to. We, we don't want to change what's working, but do you every year go, what can I do different? Yeah, you know, um, last season we added all Hot Topics Mondays, which I love. I bet you do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and so Hot Topics now is a very long segment every day, but um, on Mondays, no guests, unless you're telling me the inside scoop, you know, you're coming like from, you know, one of my magazines that I like to read and whatnot. And um, it's just fun, Ellen, you know, fun. So, you, so when you talk about these Hot Topics, are there people, because you just say, you don't, you, you just say what you want to say. Do you worry about running into these people because you're going to run into them? Unless they live in Jersey in my town. Like, I mind my own business. You don't understand. And, it's, and, and that's me by nature. You know, I've been a broadcaster for 30 years. And what I find is that this whole TV thing hasn't changed me. I don't leave the show and go to Craig's for lunch, darling. I go back to, I go back home. 
and get back into, you know, my Wendy Hunter thing. That's what keeps me grounded. So the uh -huh. people that I talk about, listen, I got better things to do with my more mature life, but if you're gonna make it so easy for me as to do foolish things as stars, then I gotta do, I got an hour to fill. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about people. So don't just hand hand you something to, you, they're just serving it up, you're saying. There's, they serve it up. Yeah. You know, um, but I enjoy the style of our show and I, do, I don't do it for me, mm -hmm. you know. So sometimes if it comes off a little cutting and biting, I'm sorry, that's just my delivery. Yeah, so uh, we're gonna play a game because uh, you're gonna say it like you mean it and we're gonna play a special uh, Wendy uh, heads up. So okay. we'll be right back. So Wendy Williams is never too shy to give her opinions on anyone or anything. So we're gonna play a special edition of heads up and I am gonna show you okay. uh, a celebrity and you are gonna talk about them and I'm gonna have to guess who you're talking about. By Talk what, about them in what way? And just how, describing in whatever way that you think I'm gonna guess who they are. Okay. Okay? Three. Okay, I'm nervous. <laughs> oh, he just won the Os Oscar and he was Titanic and he uh, Le Super Leonardo Mars. DiCaprio. Yes. Yep. Okay. Oh, um, she's married to Jay-Z. Uh, Beyonce? Yes. These are easy, good. Yeah. Oh, she's got a girl squad and... Um, and Taylor Swift. Yes. <laughs> Oh gosh. Um, as much as I want to not like him, I love his new song and he really is cute. And some people say that he looks like you. I've heard that. You've never heard that? They say it in a good way. Who, uh, he, uh, his, his, okay, What's fine. the song, what's the song? Baby, baby. Oh. I, I, forgot, I forgot the name of the new one. That's not new. No, yeah. no, they, what, yeah. what's his new song called? I yeah. forget, I know all the words. Yeah. So, Sorry. Do I look like Justin Bieber? No, they have made the equation. Oh, well. That's I, in a good way. I don't mind that. He's cute. He's adorable. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying. I know. 